Hello, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Today I wanted to show you how you can set up uh, recurring tasks or repeating tasks. Um, this is something that can really help you out when you're using Todoist or generally any program. Uh, most programs are going to be able to do this. Things like Nosby, Wonderlist, one of the other um, popular programs are going to be able to do this. Since I use Todoist mainly, I'm going to show how to go about setting this up. But real quick, why you might want to do this, uh, hopefully it's kind of self-apparent, but in case you're just not aware or you never really thought about it, you know, just simple tasks that are recurring, something like take out the trash, you know, maybe you have trash day on Monday morning and you need a reminder. Um, you can also send yourself an email from here, which is nice. You can, uh, you know, set up a review session, you know, you can remind yourself, hey, that that daily review you need to do, you can have it set to your to-do list so that you don't have to set it, you know, every day, the night before, or say, you can just set it up and have it happen. Uh, something else that's powerful about this feature is that you can set a start date. So let's say you know you're going to have a task that needs to be done every day, but it's only going to be for like a week. You can set that up in here. Um, you can also set like end dates. So you can say, okay, I want to, you know, do 15 push-ups, you know, a day in my free time, and I want to do it for a month. And you can you can do that. So let's dive in here and show you how to do that. We've already got some tasks set up from some stuff we've done before, like subtasks. So let's say we want a new task, and we're going to say we want to create a new video. All right, and that's something I want to do every week, and I want to do it on Wednesday. So I'm going to say every Wednesday, and I want it to be at 9 a.m., so I get done in the morning. All right, and if we just do that, so like I said, all it is is every Wednesday at 9 a.m., hit enter and there we go and we get this little kinda of like that loading icon you see on some screens okay and that means it's a recurring task and if you wanna see what it is you just click on the task and you can come over here and see exactly what it says alright if you ever need help you can click on recurring dates and more alright and this will pop open a good tutorial on what you can do okay the formats that occur and anything else you wanna do especially if you're tying into IFTTT you might want to be aware of what you can do here, and that's kind of another topic, but just in case you're you're stuck. All right, so let's try one more thing here. Let's say we wanted to do something only this week. Let's say we want to write down, you know, three daily goals. All right, and remember too, if it pops up here and you save it and you see that highlighted, it's going to set it as daily, which is kind of what we want, but not quite. So you just have to click on it, and it will remove that from uh, triggering off of what you wrote there. So let's say every day ending, oh, today is the 23rd, so we're going to say, you know, through the end of the week, 25, which would be March 26th, okay? So now when I do that, it's set up as a recurring task. Today is Wednesday the 23rd. So what would happen is it would pop up today, like it did. Pop up. No, pop up down as you go through the week. All right, and then again, like I said, if you wanted to do a set a starting date, you could do that too. So you would just say like, um, review book you read. Let's say, you know, every week now every Thursday starting March 29th okay and then it would just grab that date so it'd say every Thursday since I typed that in and it's starting on the 29th so the first occurrence would actually be on the 31st and then it would just recur so we can go ahead and hit enter all right, so pretty simple, but very powerful. So this really lets you set things up. And if you ever are, you need to do it, you know, let's say you set something up to start, you don't need it anymore. You maybe like this is a good way to build habits. But maybe once it's been a month or two, and you feel good, you don't need the reminder anymore. You can just delete the task. All right, so that's a good way to go about that. So hopefully this helps you with repeating and recurring tasks in Todoist.